Hey everyone, welcome to Hemiway's showcase series, Discovering Your Hemiway. Today we're gonna to talk about a few systems on your Hemiway e-bike, one being the transmission system, and also the brake system, and the integrated tail light. So let's first talk about the transmission system. And if you're looking at the bike on the handlebars to the right, you'll see a silver piece here. This is that Shimano seven speed gear system. Now this seven speed freewheel will allow you to shift to a smaller gear for riding uphill and then shift to a larger gear for higher speeds. In combination with the pedal assist system, you can adjust gears to reach the right speed for every part of your journey. So again, on the right side of the handlebars, back here. You're gonna see that the speed for the Shimano gears can switch from one to seven. This is mostly gonna come into play when you're just pedaling on your own. Uh, so this is gonna help you because you're gonna need a, a little bit of a lower gear when you're you know, going slower or just getting started pedaling. And then you can switch to a higher gear as you, you know, uh, pick up some more speed. But this is also helpful in pedal assist mode. That said, for pure electric mode, you wouldn't be using the seven speed gear system uh, whatsoever because you're simply using the accelerator and the brakes. The shifting system here, as I've said previously, is using Shimano products. I'm sure most of us have heard of Shimano, obviously. It's a very well-known and reliable supplier for bicycle components and accessories with a long lifespan and a high level of operation. Now, brake systems for electric vehicles are generally divided into disc brakes and drum brakes. In order to better explain the difference between the two, let's take a look at this exterior piece, right? So we can kind of imagine this as the exterior housing of a drum brake. Now, difference between a drum brake and a disc brake being a drum brake, when, it's, when you're braking, there's an interior piece that's going to friction with this exterior shell, and that's what's going to cause the bike to stop. Alternatively, with the disc brakes on the uh, Hemiway bike here, this is where you've got that disc and then you have two exterior pieces that are going to cause friction on that internal disc, uh, interior disc. So that's what's going to stop your bike. Uh, if you're braking by causing friction, pushing out on this exterior housing, again, obviously that's a drum brake. Now, Hemiway bikes use 180 millimeter mechanical disc brakes, both at the front, as you'll see here, and all the way back at the rear. Now, this type of mechanical disc brake uh, provides plenty of stopping power, even in the harshest of conditions. So, as you can imagine, we've run a lot of different tests on the Hemiway brakes in different riding scenarios, such as on normal roads, when climbing or descending, or in wet or dry conditions. And we can tell you that the brakes on your Hemiway will hold up and be effective no matter what the environment or situation you encounter. The tightness of the brake system can be easily adjusted as well uh, as you can see me doing here when we're pressing down on the brakes on your handlebar of course and like I said before if you give this a little bit of brake uh, or a little bit of, uh, of, of pull now this is going to cause your bike to slow down it's not going to you know stop immediately and uh, and and right on the spot but if you pull this down pull these back all the way that's when you're going to get that immediate quick stop that you know is very necessary in uh, in a number of different situations during high speed riding we also want to bear in mind that under normal circumstances you're going to want to brake with the rear brakes first although the wheels on your Hemiway are relatively large and you're not going to roll over your front tire when braking with the front brakes in a normal scenario when you're heading downhill rapidly or going at high speeds, there's, there's always a possibility of this if you use your front brake first in those, uh, in those cases. So be careful about this and remember to emphasize using the back brake in those situations. So to reiterate, if you're going very fast or if you're going downhill, as you would in a, in a street bike or a mo uh, mountain bike, and you press the front brakes immediately and hard, uh, this can, in, in certain models, cause you to go over the front of your bike, right? So this is why you're always taught to use either both brakes or start with your rear brake. And while that's, you know, less of a situation with this heftier uh, fat bike that we have back here, you're still going to want to be careful about this in certain speeds or uh, certain types of uh, decline. So uh, be sure to use that rear brake first and you'll be, uh, you'll be guaranteeing safety. So Hemiway's brake system is highly wear resistant and generally doesn't need to be replaced. That said, if you ever do want to replace them, it's a very simple process and our after sales team is here to walk you through it. 
All right, so the third topic for today is on our integrated taillights, which you will see all the way at the back right here. Now, without the headlights being turned on on your bike, you're not going to consistently see a red light coming from the back, but if you are pressing down on the brake, that's when your red light is going to appear. So that's gonna be for safety. If anyone's behind you, they're gonna know you are stopping. But if we put on the headlight here, you'll see now you're getting this light coming from the headlight as well as the red light from the tail light. That'll remain on consistently as you are riding uh, with those lights turned on. So this is gonna help you, you know, remain safe, keep uh, those behind you aware of where you are and if you're stopping uh, and it'll help you ride through the night or through rain or any other tough conditions. You'll also want to pay attention to protecting these lights here because they're made of plastic LEDs. So try to avoid any sort of impact that might hit or damage this. So you'll see for the headlight here and for the tail light, this is made of plastic. So generally they are being protected by the protruding front and back tire and tire guards. So it's not like you're going to run into something and, and cause these to break, but just be careful when you're transporting or riding your bike not to impact that plastic on your headlight or taillight. All right, so with all of these different electrical systems going on on your bike, I mean, you've got your headlight, your taillight, you've got your motor here, you've got your battery. A lot of times people ask us, well, how do I clean this? Is this going to be a problem if I'm getting this wet for, uh, you know, with a little bit of soap for cleaning purposes? Well, that's going to be totally fine. If you're using your standard, uh, you know, hose or, or spray valve off of a hose to wash this down, uh, also a, a wet towel uh, with a little bit of soap, that is totally fine. That's not going to impact the function of your bike whatsoever. This is built to withstand that kind of, uh, that kind of uh, uh, issue or, or um, obstacle, right? So um, what you do want to make sure of, however, is that you're not submerging any of the electrical uh, portions completely in water. That's something to be aware of, but otherwise you're in very good shape to, uh, to be able to clean this down as you would a car uh, or a motorcycle or a regular bike. Okay, that's all for the transmission system, brake system, and integrated taillights. If you have any questions, please drop us a message.